What's goody everyone and welcome to the final Smackdown vs. Raw 2006 extra video. Now coming up first, we're gonna finish our pay-per-view, The Day of Balls. Now let's just head into the Elimination Chamber, which might take a while. But uh, it's just featuring a bunch of guys that we haven't seen. Unfortunately, we won't be seeing their entrances or see them at all. We got Snitsky, Davari, Scotty Tuhati, Chris Masters, and just look at Rob Conway. Where's uh, where's where's where's? Come on, show yourself. Yeah. All right, I'm obviously gonna beat myself there. It doesn't tell me what what number I am. Oh, random. Uh, you know what? I, I I would like to win and not have this take so long, so I'll just pick six. How about that? Wait, what is he normally? Dirty, random, dirty, random, dirt, clean, random, dirty, random, dirty, random. All right, and we're here at the start of the elimination chamber. We will continue. Good evening, and welcome to a sold-out And it se show seems that Davari and Robert Conway have started the match. And have we got a show for you tonight? And Cole, we're in the desert. This is nuts. Every SmackDown show is bigger and better than the ones that. So basically, what happens is two wrestlers will start in the match. Then another wrestler will enter at the time limit discretion. What the fuck is that? Then it's an elimination match. So you need to eliminate each and every opponent. When an opponent, when all of them are gone, you win. That's pretty, pretty much self-explanatory. WWE's run this concept into the ground with Elimination Chamber every year. But it is what it is. It's the most demonic structure besides the other most demonic structure. So guys get hurt, you know? Guys can climb up, you can jump off. Or you can just step off. Nice! And look at how much damage he did to himself just there. Just like that. He's already done. Now it will pick. Scotty too hotty. And it doesn't matter that there's no referee. Why would you... Wait, Scotty, what... It was just a two count, but why Why did you even try doing something there? Also, what's going on here? See, he climbed down, which is probably the better of the options to do. <laughs> Look how they're just following suit of each other. Uh, Robert Conway, he's, uh, was a, Cana a French Canadian, or just a Canadian Frenchman. He's not even French, really. He's just a fan of France. And, that's the, and then, to, as a result, he's part of La Resistance. A pro-French group because for some reason WWE was obsessed with anti-French stuff because th that was the whole time when we were calling French fries freedom fries it was a really weird thing Davari is known for being the manager of Muhammad Hassan Mark Henry and initially the great Kali although he's not known for much of for his solo stuff um, he's just a you know cruiserweight Mike guy um, Scotty Tuhati was in Too Cool with Grandmaster Sexay and Rikishi. He did the worm, knew how to dance, get the crowd pumped up. Snitsky is a psychopath. He says, it wasn't my fault. And then also he dyed his teeth yellow when he came back as a monster. But that, and he's also known for, uh, licking feet. I'm, literally, that was his gimmick. Why is they trying to break up the pinfalls? It's not how this is supposed to work. Especially this this iteration of uh, this iteration of Sinsky was the one that licked feet and also punted a baby into the audience. It, thankfully, it wasn't it wasn't a real baby though. But, you know, what is Davari's finisher? Is it like a low blow? You gotta give it up to Scotty. So oh, and that's an easy way to destroy your opponent. Now we have Chris Masters. Chris Masters is the masterpiece. Oh, who just got eliminated? Uh, Robert Conway. Chris Masters was one of the big prospects in WWE around this time. Unfortunately, it didn't end up panning out. But that's due to a lot of things. But basically, his body is built like a masterpiece. Like a, a work of art. And that's pretty much his gimmick. 
He also has, he uses the full Nelson, known as the Master Lock, and had a challenge where someone needed to break out of it. Yep, that's such a big move for Scotty. And especially big when the guy sits up at the end of it. Oh! It will be in, in, in this soon enough. Here we go. Now it's gonna be the time for the. Oh, I almost grabbed the wrong controller. It's gonna be the J Rump chamber. Why are you even still, still doing that? The more the merrier, and you know what they say: the more the merrier, right, Taz? Oh, right in the areola. Jesus, what the fuck? Yeah, the only thing about this match that kind of sucks is that you can't fucking see. Get in the ring here so we can actually see. Oh, what? Everybody's just trying to fuck with me. All right. It ain't over yet, Cole. It sure isn't. I think these superstars could keep going for. What are they saying? Sucks. Also, I don't remember having that power slam. What a reversal! Ow! Ah, what the fuck? Everybody's going out over after me. Ah, blah, 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 blah. I knew it was only a matter of time. It was only a matter of time. Why is this the only one I did bad grapple moves? Okay, why is this the only one that I'm getting able to have access to? And this one. Alright, how about left? Biting! How about up? Alright, it also matters different parts of the body as well. I don't think I've ever seen a guy as as the masterpiece. Top rope moves can win or lose you the match. There's very little. Another kick. Oh, and Scotty's busted open. That's gonna be it for Scotty. Please don't jump down on us. Don't stop it. Why did you stop it? You fucking ass crack. Mm. Oh, oh, wait, I have a perfect idea. Scotty, Scotty, no. Get back over here, Scotty. We gotta do it. We gotta do his this finisher. No, you're not letting me do it. No, get away. He's going for the pin call. Fucker. No. Damn it. I wanted to do the worm, you bitches. Alright, well, Elimination Chamber. The only thing with Elimination Chamber is it's supposed to be, like, extreme as fuck, but, like, they don't let you get any weapons, which is, like, understood why, but, like, still. It should. Choking him out like that. Hey, stop it. It's time for you to get hip struck. If it, as long as I can remember how to do that move. Hey, not the not the backbreaker sting DT. Scotty's not even in the match anymore, Taz. The fuck? He's taking right. some serious damage. His opponent isn't fooling around here. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, come on. I was supposed to hit somebody. Damn it. At least it only made me yellow. I like how Davari can't even pull him. Get up. Get up. Get up. Oh, jeez. Snitsky's going to do it, too. Oh, he's going to get thrown off. Oh, wow. That was close. Get up. Please. It takes you so long to get up for me. Thank you. Okay, well, if that's the case... Get in the ring. You must be familiar with this one, Taz. Yes, Taz, yeah, you must be familiar with it. Oh, I definitely Let tried to just do a uh, thing there. A wire swept. Oh, Don't the break pin. the pinfall. Why are they trying to break it? We're all on the same side. We all want there to be less people in this match, right? Fucking idiots. Man, does a porn look like a punk with that counter? Yo, he made me look like a punk with that counter. Then I made him look like a punk with that counter. No, I'm not trying to throw him into. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Choking him. There are no off I here give him with the gear. Where the fuck if is you're he? A superstar, you're performing every week of the year. Oh, he blocked it. About just swinging a bat or kicking a ball, neither. WWE just swinging a bat or kicking a ball. You're really you good shit, Taz. Here, comes, here give him the big swing oh, on here many if you can see that. that. Yep, plenty of superstar. Oh no, I meant to drop him down. All right, well we'll, we'll, we'll get him with a pinfall here. Or we'll give him the iron claw. You just don't see action like this every day. I think day. that's a sufficient. Oh. And we ain't got the best seats in the house. Oh, One, two. Three. Three, there we go. Get the fuck out of here, Scotty. Scotty Doe, ladies and gentlemen. 
This is one hell of a performance by some amazing superstars, Cole. Oh, this what is the Smackdown, shit, man. After all, the number one brand in sports ah, yeah, I can lift you, you big bastard. Yeah, yeah. Damn that. Why did you pick him right up? The fuck? Like, you literally picked him right up. Also, from here, I believe. No, I can't go from there. I've seen a lot of superstars tap All right, out let's, this let's go up here. You and me both, partner, and Don't we follow me. About to see another one right here. All right, I want to land on someone. Why is he going so far? This How am I supposed to land on you from here? Its money's worth here tonight. All right, it's well, that's unfortunate. Cool. If they're not buying tickets... <laughs> Oh, we're not getting paychecks. Oh, oh, oh. You know that. That's right. Get down on the floor. It's time for your hip struck. I like how much damage he actually took from that. I think they're slowing that pace down a little bit, Cole. Yep, we definitely slowed the pace down with that. Don't you dare. Don't you fucking dare. Don't break it up. Thank you. Stupid Snitsky. You're lucky you didn't get your hip struck. Jeez, what a match. I got yep, no what a match. We're all fucked. Was he I just did the Big Show's harder. move and then he did a Diva's move? So Snitsky, you don't really go to the top very often. As, as seen there. Boom! Busted him open. And that should be it. Call the doctor. He just got caged. God damn it. You stupid Monko, Funko, Bunko, Hunko. This is great. Time to die. Mmm. Oh god, he's like night after night, the fucking WWE dying on the ground there. Never ah! Now that's it. We won the elimination chamber, folks. Yeah. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. His fit. I don't think there's any question in anyone's mind who won that match, Maz. This should be cool. If you pick your opponent and let your house free, that's it. It's done. Sexy and that girl. Maybe it's the match. Sexy girl. We've had some long uh, matches and long episodes. We are going to be doing the last few matches that we haven't touched upon yet and there's only like two or three so that's that's pretty cool or we will be doing it at least one of them with this wrestler again so you will see him do not do not fret do not worry about that again the song follows me everywhere I go it is haunting me stalking me there we go. We finished our pay-per-view. And that's it. Now we can save, I guess, for whatever reason. Alright, now that we're done with the Day of Balls, we're gonna head over to Exhibition Mode to do one of the matches that we haven't even done yet. And I think it's exclusive to this game, honestly. I'm not even sure if that's the truth. Well, no, it, it would say new if it, if it was exclusive, so this had to be introduced before. The Slobber Knocker. You can see your ranking from doing the slobber knocker, or you can just select it. We're gonna do single player. Yes, that's me. And we're gonna go to, where is he? There's J Ruff, the SmackDown superstar. And we're gonna fight clean. Where, where are we gonna go? What places haven't we seen yet? That's actually worth it. We haven't seen the Great American Bash. Uh, we did see Taboo Tuesday. I think we might go to the Green American Bash, my boys and girls. We didn't see Armageddon either, but I feel like the Green American Bash, I don't know, it just looks more appealing to the eye. Kanye Jaws the Wired! And now we're gonna go start our slobber knocker. I like how it's Green American Bash, all one word. I always liked, like, this, if, uh, for all the WWE pay-per-views that were just straight, like, oh, America, blah, 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 like... The Great American Bash was the probably the coolest design one. Although the uh <laughs> oh my god. And that's the least American thing I've ever seen. No, but um I thought the Great American Bash was, you know, the best of those. But it's a thing where like, you know, WWE kinda had no choice 
uh, but to stop using it because Bash at the Beach and everything related to that is kind of up in the air. Alright, we can set the match rules if we want to, but it doesn't seem like we have the option. Hold on, can I put on Escape from the Cage Door? Or do I have to really load the screen once more? Okay, we're just going to get into the match. The Slobber Knocker is j Ruff. Alright, well we don't even get to see our fucking entrance during a hellacious match. Yeah, the double knockout thing. We've talked about that before. But here we go. You can see the Great American Bash stage sort of in the background. Oh, it's Orlando Jordan! Of course. Alright. So basically for these kinds of things, you just want to survive and not give the opponent any sort of chance. Seems like we've already gotten him the yellow, so that's good. I think the easiest way to, to do that is to, you know, be a, 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 uh, a baby face. And wow, I'm already... <laughs> I was gonna... <laughs> I was gonna die already. Die. I think the easiest way... Nope, not, not doing that. Is you gotta... Oh my god. <laughs> I made his moveset so awkward. Is being a baby face and doing stuff off the top rope. Oh, the press slam! That's actually perfect for what we need to do. Oh my god, he's grabbing his yam bag! Holy shit! Is, it, is, is, is this just easier to hurt people in this mode? Alright. Interesting. Oh, I wanted to hit him. Who else? Show me someone interesting. Jindrak! Give me, like, fucking Bret Hart. Fucking Kurt Angle. Yeah, these people are... This is just, like... You're unstoppable in this one, or I guess maybe it's because I'm 99. I don't know. I'm also very large, but I can do stuff off the top. Yep, these guys. Imagine just having one person destroy your entire roster like this. He's already done. Look, that's it. Also, there's no referee for some reason. I guess because they couldn't load a referee in addition. Am I just not gonna lose? <laughs> You mean, no, they're going to have to throw... Spike! Are they going to give me the whole roster just like from the lowest rated person? I hope that wasn't hurt. Oh my god, I just decapitated him! And now I'm eating his brain! I don't even think I needed to do this. Good night, I... I KO'd him! Holy shit, you know, I'm just going to go for KOs only, honestly. Get the fuck out of here, Spike. <laughs> the way. Oh, all right. Then they go with fucking Eddie. Can I KO him with this? They're probably not is my first thing, but we'll see. Oh no! Why would I do that? <laughs> Said. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's a slobber knocker. It's literally JR's match. All right, what did I do for this one? Oh, the Eugene thing! Oh, I forgot. How is that? That better put him to red. Oh, I put him to orange. That's a thing I completely agree on. Oh yeah, you're done. I want to get a. I want to get a knockout. Oh no, wrong one again. Oh, it hit him. But I hurt myself in the process. All right, here we go. Time to get a knockout. Oh, I performed three. I did one of the challenges of challenge mode. There we go. I should have actually looked at that list. There you go, everybody. I showed off challenge mode for you. Oh, Booker T. All right. Well, by the way, that was another knockout. I'm not going to count how many times I knock out Booker T, like the elbow drop thing that happened earlier in this playthrough, if you remember that. Oh, and the leg lock. The weird-ass leg lock. Yeah, I was going to say, this must break his leg immediately. Oh my god, is a 99 overall just that broken with weighing as much? Oh my god. This is, this is like an actual, like, fucking crime that's being committed. This is like the Brock Lesnar Royal Rumble, except everybody's getting killed, actually. Oh, Kane! Oh, here's the big boy! Yeah, I can lift you up, asshole. They are getting paychecks! Uh, tickets! And you're done already. Let me just pin him right there, right quick. Oh, of course Kane would be the first person to kick out. Yeah, I can't believe it either, Taz. But stranger things have happened on Netflix. 
Sorry again if I sound like crap. I'm just suffering from a bit of a cold. You can hear I actually have a humidifier going in the background. Just so so I can, you know, so I can breathe. I hope you understand me. The necessary needs of a human being needs to breathe. Oh, I'm going to do the jump off the, the thing on him. I was going to say, imagine he just, like, kicked it. There you go. Give me the punch. All right, I'm going to do my finisher on this guy instantly. Come on, Jericho. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Jericho got fucked up. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just the instant, <laughs> instantaneously got fucked up. Holy shit. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm literally spanking the roster. Oh, please. Can that knock him out? <laughs> I want to knock him out with. Actually, I think this could knock him out. Nope, not throwing him out. You can't actually leave the ring. Oh, whoa. Damage taken to me. Yeah, because everybody's getting murdered. This is like the Mortal Kombat Let's Play. Stevie, Steven Richards is having a better showing than fucking Chris Jericho. Ow. Ow. Oh my god, he's fucking me up. What the fuck? He's fucking me up. I'm gonna escape, bitch. I escaped. That, that should count as like a reversal. That's it. You're gonna have to get. Oh my god. Man, I don't envy that ref. You know, the last place I there you go. This is gonna knock him out. This better KO him. This better KO him. Oh, it didn't KO him, you sons of my guns. What was this again? Oh, this will knock him out for sure. Or, or not, I, I, I suppose. Alright, well, I guess I'll just stop wasting time and pin him. All right, and I'm gonna knock out the first person. Maybe it's because Jericho's a light heavyweight that I knocked him out first. All right, let's try a super heavyweight. No. JBL, come on. Look at me. There we go. Yes, I can knock out anyone. Although I did get a couple. I don't even know why this is like. I, I honestly, I don't remember playing this mode very much. Oh shit! But like, this, this is like, this is like Im immeasurably easy. Does it just loop around the entire roster? At a certain point, if I keep going, I'm gonna have to like stop. Oh no! I went for the coup de gras. It sounds like a fair trade to me. You never heard one, and I'm still here outside. 25. Oh shit! He's doing his the thing that he does. Except like, I still haven't taken damage yet. It sounds like a fair trade to. Uh oh, he's gonna put me in the lock. Yep. I thought I. Oh, I hit the wrong. Rope break. Rope break. Rope break. Raph, he's cheating! Uh, shit, I'm still good. Is this just supposed to be like an hour long thing? Bah! Sorry I keep doing that one, it's just the only one that I, that's working. There we go, that's done. It went to WWW! I'm so glad Taz doesn't have to say that shit again. There's no referee to do be doing such things, Michael Cole. I gave him that. He's pretty basic. Oh, this will this will do the trick. I find it disgusting. Ah! <laughs> I'm just gonna do that again. What if that knocked him out? I want to just get like another finisher. He was world heavyweight champion. Oh, I didn't really want to do that, but sure. 
Yeah, it worked. I'm gonna steal this person's finisher. Who is it? Who that? Greenier? I don't even know who that is. Oh, <laughs> that's the guy that's de the default guy that that your move set gets based off of. Bye, Sylvan. Do they say this sucks? Fuck you. Yes, Fuck you, Heidenreich. Well, I can't lose to Heidenreich. As well as Alright, I think I'm just gonna... Just gonna, uh... Man, like I made him look like a punk with that one. I think I'm just gonna, like, cut cut on through the funny moments here. After I hit him with that fame asser and get the three count. Oh, he fucking shitted on me. Alright. Oh, so after I beat Heidenreich, we're gonna cut ahead to the next, uh, I don't know. Oh, what? The next funny moment, I don't know. Or when I'd lose. Fucking die, Heidenreich. Oh, that had to have busted him open. Alright, this has to be. Yep, goodbye. Let's get that schnozzola. And he kicked out. Oh wow, he survived it. He survived the push. Spear! Oh, I did it. Why do I keep repeating these challenges? It's the game! Uh, Triple H! Uh, you thought you could bury me! But I'm gonna bury you! I'm the j Ruff, and in the Milliless Ring, I'm gonna stomp a mud hole and break between your asshole. And I did not plan to do the spanking at the same exact time, but exactly what, what... Oh yeah, you can't, you can't let the opponent do that same area of your body. Can we do it again? That's uh, sort of. Get up, Triple H, and in the middle of this ring, I'm gonna give you a pedigree. Knockout. Yep. Had to have. Had to have. I didn't make you bleed in the middle of this ring. Oh, the Slamma Jamma. Whoa, Robert Conway showing me he's good today. Too bad he's going away. Oh wait, it's Carlito. Wait, can I? Was he? Is he standing there the whole time? Oh, look at all those people. I didn't see them at all. So next is Muhammad Hassan. Wow, what a spoiler. No, he can't follow up. That really sounds like he's breaking my neck, but his hand's actually clipping through. Uh oh. What a counter that was! It's gonna throw me like a Kurt Angle, and I'm just gonna get fucked. Long dick style. Hey yo! Pause! You sure can't. They see everything, and they'll let you know. Oh, I, it lied to me. It saw that I was checking for spoilers. It sent me Chris Masters after Carlito, which is funny because they they were a tag team. We've seen this before. People are really mad. Uh oh. Uh oh. I saw someone there. It's the Undertaker! And I'm gonna take his. Oh, I meant to take the Tombstone Piles Driver. He haven't wrestled the Undertaker in a while. Oh, and I killed him and him sent him back to the grave. Oh, I like how he still got up like that. He's like, all right, I resurrected myself. It's it's Christian. Holy shit, Christian! This is like the fifth time you've kicked out. Just fucking die already. I don't want to use my finisher on you. Oh, jeez. Oh my god, Christian, just go! <laughs> I'm fat as shit. Christian's a light heavyweight in this game, so... <laughs> that should do it. Please end this. Yay! Bye, Christian. It's it's Christian.
Ooh, Chavo. Oh, well. Oh, I didn't want to do that. That's okay. Now we got a super, super heavyweight. Yep, the big show. Yep, all match. This is what I wanted to do. The ultimate choke slam. And... Oh, it's not a knockout? Damn. Well, there goes Paul White. They go on big show. Oh no, oh no, oh! Muhammad Hassan is fucking me up and I'm almost done. Oh god, I'm gonna have to say that I lost to Muhammad Hassan. Holy shit. Not that he was bad or anything, I just, he was very, I don't know, I guess forgettable. Uh, oh. Yeah, you gotta be dealt with. Sorry. Look up Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog. Scotty. Scotty beat me up. I can't stop. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go. Ah. Why couldn't I get. Why is he walking like that, man? Ah. Yes, I got it! Ladies and gentlemen, W O R M! Whoa! Hey! Hey! The worm! Yeah! Clap, 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 clap. Oh, we went, made it back to the beginning! Is it just looping now? Orlando Jordan? We're, we're gonna go back to Orlando Jordan? It's just like in Punch Out when you beat uh, everybody once. You gotta beat them again defending the title. Let's, let me see. Who's outside? I can't really tell. It looks like the other Basham brother. Alright. I, I, I can't do this anymore. Everybody be at 50 minutes of this match. Uh, just beat me already. Just just pin me. I don't. I'm done. I, I can't. I can't do this match anymore. There. I'm busted open now. I don't care. I'll let Slavon beat me. I'm technically a creation of him anyway. Just beat me. Stop toying around. I want to lose. Thank you. Please don't kick out. Yay. We got a score of 52. Oh, I, I, thank you. I did the slobber knocker challenge. Hey, how about that? Follow me on TikTok to do the slobber knocker challenge. There we go. There, that's the that's the ranking that you have to do. There we go. If you want to see the whole thing, that's how you do it. Yep. That's good lord, and I still have more of this video to go. <laughs> All right. Um. Well, I was going to do a title match, but realistically, we don't really have to do it. Alright, now we got one more match that we have to do, and it's... It's a doozy. Oh, God. can't believe I'm actually doing this. Fulfill your fantasy match! And yeah, this one is, is, is very, very degrading, and very... Thank God wrestling isn't like this anymore, am I right? Um... Well, I think what we're gonna do is, for no particular reason, uh, actually, you know what, I'll be Trish. Yeah, I'll fight dirty, why not? And yeah, you get nurse, schoolgirl, <laughs> French maid, oh, uh, uh, well, she's from Canada, right? So, French maid, she's, well, she's from Toronto, I, I, I don't know. And for no particular reason, we're gonna go with Tori, just because they were the uh, the two women that we had in the uh, story mode. You know, I see her more as a uh, nurse. I mean, she's into fitness, right? <laughs> fitness. She's into fitness. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, all the divas fit into these costumes. Uh, the match rules. Oh, we we got another one of those. Nice. 
So the goal of this match is not really to win. It's to fulfill the fantasy meter. And I don't really understand. I mean, I didn't understand as a kid what that meant. But n now I sort of understand. So, <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, sorry, Lita, you couldn't be in this match. All right, to win, fill your fantasy meter by disrobing, circle plus down, swinging pillows and spanking your opponent's rear end. To spank an opponent, raise the hand icon using the right trigger, right control stick up to spank. Target zone at the top of the spank meter. Jesus Christ. No wonder this is not Oh, there's pillows. Oh! Tori's fucked me up already. That's not alright. So yeah, you get a, uh, a bed and you get pillows. Ow, I'm getting... That's just doing some actual damage. And as you can see, instead of the top, uh, you know, your body... You, you know, on the thing. And it's just your fantasy really meter. Oh, your feathers have been ruffled. Jeez, man. So, yeah, this was a thing that... This is what women's wrestling used to amount to, unfortunately. But... Was I actually complaining at the time? Probably not. But I was also trying to figure out stuff about life at that time. God damn, she's fucking me up, though. Is there any way to dodge those? There we go. Now let, let's 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 try doing those things that you know I can't. I have to go to her lower body. Yep, we're looking at the future of the WWE. Is she gonna get that top off? Is she gonna get the top off? <laughs> this is the future of the WWE. Thankfully, they they were wrong about that. I don't think anyone in this match has even considered that they might not walk out the winner. I'm sure. I'm pretty sure that they considered it. That's the kind of attitude that gets you beat quicker than anything. As soon as you let the slightest doubt into your mind, you can. And then he goes, "Is it gonna be a top coming off? I'm Taz. You know, it's gonna be a thing on top of the top off." Oh wait, I forget I'm a heel. Whoa! What the hell am I looking at there? Hot girls and pillows. Can't go wrong. Hot girls and pillows. Taz likes Megan the Stallion, apparently. So yeah, this is a thing. I don't think it's in the next game. I think this is the only game where this type of thing is in. I mean, I know they do have bra and panties matches in uh, other wrestling games, but I guess this kind of takes the. Because I guess they put everything into one tightly knit bow. They got outfits. You got broad panties, you got beds and pillows, literally like everything that they do with, uh, they did with Divas at the time. But I don't think anyone was prepared for this. I gotta admit, it kind of took me by surprise, Cole. That don't happen too often. Yeah, I'm sure it took you by surprise. hundreds of matches in your career. We both called hundreds of Yeah, regular moves aren't actually gonna do anything. It's more of just like the, uh, the moves that make the, the that, you know, have to do with the bazongas. Oh, like this one. Oh, we're gonna get the... Ladies and gentlemen. Whoa. As much woman as Michael Cole has ever seen. Oh. God, this is making me feel terrible by even showing this right now. All right. Just know that this is this one's rated R. All right. It's This is it. Now we got to get the other the the pantalones. But I, I, I was I was trying to do the, the, the spanky McDouble spank there. Yep, I didn't think so either, Taz. Oh, she's gonna do a leg lock. Tori's very known for her her leg locks right right there. Oh no, she's gonna pop my top off. She's gonna pop my top off. You know what? Should I even? Should I? Should I even? Oh well, I did it enough. She will try to pop my top off. I feel like a real jerk when somebody yep, I do feel like, like a real jerk like that. I think so oh. fantasies are getting fulfilled here, Cole. Oh, uh, get it? <laughs> I said that it looked like some kind of suicide squad. <laughs> it's because he said the name of the thing. I, the match is 
fantasy fulfilled. There we go. Hey, and I did a challenge. So therefore it was necessary. We didn't have to do the, the hip struck though, the spanking of the rear end. It didn't need did it need to happen, and that's that's okay. I don't want to get this video removed from YouTube. If it already hasn't been. The WWE Davis fulfilled every red blooded American male's fantasy with that match. Oh my god! They sure did. I hope we don't have to wait long to see that again. Oh my god. Terrible. Hey, there weren't any of those things in the actual match. Also, she doesn't look that upset. So she just threw the, the the pillow in the crowd. What time for bed? Is there we actually like just because the pillows and shit? Whatever. All right, guys, that about wraps it up for SmackDown vs. Raw 2006. We got some options and stuff. Custom AI, targeting, all that good stuff. Nothing really necessarily to go over. Match rules, if you want to do this, this will happen for pretty much every normal match that you do. This will be the rules. And that's about it, guys. We have done, or at least shown off, everything I possibly can in this game. This game, is, honestly, as a kid, meant a lot to me. It's pretty much what got me into wrestling. It, it helped exponentially me getting accustomed to the, the, the wrestling things. Just, just things about wrestling and... Without this game, I don't know that I'd be as much of a fan as I am today. So for that, SmackDown vs. Raw 2006, I thank you. And uh, that about wraps it up for this Let's Play. One of my longest Let's Plays ever, if not my longest Let's Play ever. Uh, I can't wait to go back into the uh, realm of the wrestling universe for another game, although it'll be quite some time that we do that. Uh, but next up, for me, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. So, uh... Thank you guys all for watching. Stay tuned for the next scheduled upload, at least for, for what, what would be replacing this, because...